All right. <clears throat> so I like having the, I like having these discussions, man, because you know it's very fascinating to me to um, dive deeper into certain aspects of you know sort of the cultural viewpoint or uh, you know certain meanings or hidden meanings or possible hidden meanings behind uh, certain things and in, in stuff that we love and enjoy. And I wanted to uh, sort of pose the question, is Mortal Kombat evil? No, it's obviously not. But I wanted to dive deep into um, sort of some of the responses I've actually had over the time. I've had uh, fellow Christians come in and talk about how like playing Mortal Kombat is evil or, or whatnot because it's got devil worship and, and uh, all that sort of jazz in the game and uh, it's kind of it's kind of that video addressing that now I am not the sort of Christian that is gonna like be up in arms about a game having demonic uh, iconography or uh, things like people not allowing their kids to read Harry Potter because of witchcraft and stuff like that I understand the basic premises like if you expose something you know could this have a knock-on effect for someone but if you're sort of sort of grounded individual you will understand that these things are just entertainment right they are entertaining and the story in Mortal Kombat is actually a great story you have characters like Shang Tsung Quan Chi you know Shao Kahn these are the sorts of characters that exist that primarily are, you know, wanting to uh, dominate or control everyone, uh, stealing their souls, corrupting them, and uh, and that is very much akin to how uh, Christians view Satan uh, or Lucifer from the Bible. You know, uh, someone that corrupts the soul uh, means that you're damaged, you're no good, uh, means you can't go on to uh, heaven or, or a better place because of it, or the complete and, and total domination of uh, mankind, which is what General Shao or Shao Kahn uh, sort of uh, portray as well. You could then get into, you know, sort of the things like with uh, sort of like demonic type spirits, things like Natara, uh, obviously like Serena and her sisters. Uh, you could then have the flip side of that with Ashra, where she actually recognizes the evil and does everything that she can to purge it from herself which is exactly what christians do we recognize sin we recognize the raw sinners and we do our best to make sure that the evil does not outweigh the good uh, for our soul so ashra is actually quite, quite you know from a from a christian biblical perspective Quite, uh, quite a wonderful uh, character because of that, because she recognizes that particular evil uh, and is willing to, uh, to purge it from herself and by doing so has come to the light and therefore, you know, uh, you know, has, you know, becomes a, a good uh, versus being a neutral or evil character. So, and then of course you've got, um, You've got the characters like and what we've got in the new timeline, which is uh, the whole of Scorpion and Sub Zero being actual blood brothers, and you can see the corruption or the or the the, the taint of evil slowly spreading uh, in Bihan, which is what we've seen in popular characters throughout all the ages when it comes to uh, to film or TV shows that sort of thing. Of course. Uh, the greatest one being Anakin Skywalker, you know, the uh, wanting wanting to do good, thinking that you're doing it for the betterment of something else, um, but pride uh, and not being humble or having no humility ends up being the winner of the day, and then you become evil. And so you've got Scorpion, uh, Kwai Liang, uh, seeing his brother turn to essentially the dark side to evil uh, because he thinks that this is the only way right so it's very interesting too 
Now this is something to go back on as well. <clears throat> when you think about when they when we got introduced to Mortal Kombat 3, uh, Mortal Kombat 3 was basically Shao Kahn uh, was able to invade Earthrealm, essentially from memory. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it was through it was through Sindel, right? Uh, there was a little loophole there, so he was able to bypass the tournament, invade Earthrealm, take souls, but because of that, uh, Earthrealm's champions were not touched, but also the Lin Kuei. Now, the Lin Kuei knew what was going to happen because that's why they uh, cyberized their entire clan to make sure that they wouldn't have their souls taken. So that way they could survive the initial invasion and then either fight back or join or whatnot, right? So they weren't going to be uh, they weren't going to be rendered useless uh, because of it. So I thought that was very interesting too. And then of course you see in the modern day when you start to hear things about you know people getting microchips in their arms and microchips like Elon's talking about in their in their brain, right? Trying to do away, trying to sort of uh, you know entertain the idea of um, you know like a forever state. Uh, and that uh, we can continue to live on forever, but not through sort of any sort of natural means or s simply through being healthy or, or whatnot, but by through the, um, the merging of a, uh, you know, a, like a cybernetic type, you know, situation, right? Which is, again, which is what the cyber, you know, the Lin Kuei did with their cyberization plans, right? So no, I don't think that Mortal Kombat itself is evil. It's not evil to play Mortal Kombat. If you're a, if you're a grounded individual, whether you're a Christian or not, um, it is a is a great and wonderful fighting game to play, especially the older ones, not so much the new one. Um, I, I don't particularly like what NetherRealm's been doing for quite a while because it doesn't feel like that epic good versus evil battle anymore. It just feels a little feels a little off to me. But and there are people out there, like I said in the very beginning, where we'll go, oh, but you play it and there's demonic stuff, what if you get influenced? Well, you shouldn't be influenced. Like, you should be able to understand that this is just a video game. For the very same reason that you'll get some Christians out there that will judge others for saying, well, you're not dressed in a suit and tie when you go to Mass. You're coming here in a jeans and a wife beater shirt. What difference does it make what you wear? I mean, we were created, like, naked. It doesn't matter. The only reason why we put clothes on is because we were corrupted by the devil. Okay? It shouldn't matter what you wear. What matters is your devotion to Christ, and that's it, right? That's the only thing that matters, not what you wear. So you get Christians like that that will judge based on that. Judge based whether you've got tattoos or piercings, that sort of thing. But what's in your heart and your mind, that's the thing that actually matters when it comes to being uh, a good follower of Christ. Right? And the same thing happens when it comes to playing the video games out there. We've all played Doom. Most of us, if not all of us, have played Doom. And there is a hell of a lot. See what I did there? A lot of iconography uh, of, you know, uh, demonic symbols, demons, and all these sorts of things. All of this stuff exists, um, you know, and, and it exists, right, because the purpose of the game is to destroy evil. The purpose of Mortal Kombat is to destroy the evil of what's, you know, of what's actually, uh, you know, happening in the storyline. To prevail with good versus the evil. Now, the only, the only sort of thing that doesn't correlate or mix up, I know I did another video on this with John Tobias display, uh, discussing the realms. Um, but there are multiple gods, right? So from the Christian perspective, there absolutely are not multiple gods uh, at all. Right, but I would argue too that Raiden has become, uh, he is essentially the god. He is the the elder god. Right. Of course, we also got into the you know the, the time, the, the time stuff that got brought in with uh, Chronic Itch uh, in MK11, the Keeper of Time, uh, which is essentially, I guess you could argue, is you know the overall god if you will, uh, because you can reshape and create and change everything at a whim. But again, this is just a video game. It is made just simply for entertainment. 
Um, and you know, if you're grounded, especially in your faith, if you're a faith believer, then it's not gonna it's not gonna do anything to you, right? You're gonna you're gonna recognize the evil. You're gonna recognize the evil traits and things that are going on with certain characters, and that's gonna sort of that's gonna have a reaction to you, like we find in other games, um, where we have to go up against evil, uh, you know, evil, uh, you know, like bad guys, evil entities, that sort of thing. And uh, and so, you know, your job as the gamer is to purge the evil from the game. You know, to wipe out the bad guys and, you know, uh, claim victory uh, over evil in the game, right? It's the same thing with Mortal Kombat, right? Um, one thing I do notice, though, that you do get a lot with, uh, with modern gaming and TV shows and movies is that they try and give you sympathy to... They try and want you to have sympathy uh, with the evil characters. You know, uh, how did they become evil? Why did they become evil? You know, that sort of thing. And uh, I know sometimes, like, and, and especially Christians pick up on this. The reason why we pick up on it is because they're trying to get us to have sympathy. Are they trying us to have sympathy like when they brought out the TV show Lucifer? Are they trying to get us to have sympathy towards bad guys and bad girls uh, in movies, TV shows, video games? So that way, you know, everything isn't as black and white there is no pure evil and that eventually they hope that we'll turn around and say yeah god's wrong right so in that respect i can see that that point of view from a biblical perspective but at the end of the day if your faith is strong you should be able to enjoy these games like mortal kombat or doom or anything else out there where you are fighting bad guys and you're trying to you know, save people, save humanity, or, or save the aliens, or whatever it is that's going on. Uh, yes, we should be able to, you know, step back and go, listen, you know, I don't think God's going to think badly of me uh, if I do these sorts of things, right? Obviously, there's gruesome stuff when it comes to Mortal Kombat with fatalities and things like that. Uh, certain storylines, perhaps, uh, where they're not so good. But again, it is just a video game. It is just there for fun. And if you are a Christian, don't be scared of, of not wanting to play these things because if you're strong in your faith, it's not going to have any impact on you whatsoever. You're going to be perfectly okay. So, but anyway, guys, I'll leave it there. I want to know what you guys think. Because like I said, this video was made because I've actually had some Christians over the time come in and, and absolutely say that this game is demonic. And I want to know what you guys think. So anyway, catch you next time.